Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where we go over topics and subjects and events that affect you, the economy, and indeed the world. Well, with the election campaign heating up, health care costs are going to be a big issue. And that raises a big question. Can we really get less expensive health care in this country and more and better health care? The surprising answer is yes. Let's go over two sets of examples, one overseas and others here at home. Singapore delivers better health care than the United States at 25% of the cost. Their life expectancy is higher, infant mortality rates lower, and the costs are much, much cheaper. Take open heart surgery. Costs $130,000 in the U.S., $18,000 in Singapore. So how do they do it? Better health care at less cost. They do it by putting the patient in charge, not government, not insurance companies. In Singapore, a chunk of your salary is taken out to go into the equivalent of medical savings accounts to cover routine expenses and catastrophic expenses. But those accounts belong to the individual, not the government. So you get competition from hospitals, from clinics, from doctors, from pharmacies. They all have to post prices so you can comparison shop. They have to please you, not some third party. That's how Singapore does it, and it works well. Now here at home, take the state of Indiana. Back in 2007, Indiana offered its state employees a comprehensive insurance plan that had a high deductible and a medical savings account. The medical savings account equaled the high deductible, and the state put all the money in that savings account, but it belonged to you. So if you got a generic drug at a lower price, that was your savings, not the state. As a result, costs came down 35%, and outcomes were the same or even better. Indiana is pioneering this with its own Medicaid state program. Two other quick examples. LASIK surgery for the eyes. That's not covered by insurance in the United States. In the last 20 years or so, even though demand has gone up enormously, outcomes are better, and the real costs are down 50%. Elective cosmetic surgery, demand has surged, but real costs over the years, down 25%. So the bottom line is clear. America should go for high deductible health care policies with medical savings accounts that are financed by employers and demand the prices be posted by all health care providers for everything, just as they do in Singapore. Then we can get more health care, better health care at less cost. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Look forward to our next conversation. In the meantime, don't hesitate to send in comments or suggestions for topics. Take care.